The breakdown you're about to watch is brought to you by We Want Picks Premium Membership. Premium Membership gets you all sorts of exclusive content, early bets, fantasy tools, and betting guides. Check it out now, wewantpicks.com. Click Become a Member. Get ahead of these betting lines and get access to all of the tools now with an optimizer. We have a Draft Kings optimizer available to you at the same low price of $10 a month. That's $2.50 a week. You get all of our bets early, all of our fantasy content early. You get betting tools and now a Draft Kings optimizer, Draft Kings ownership, and everything you need to build now. Up to 150 lineups with just a few clicks. WeWantPicks.com at the top. Click become a member. It is only $10 a month. All right, $10 a month. You have one good week. You pay for the whole year. WeWantPicks.com at the top. Click become a member. And as always, if you want $50, all you need to do is go to WeWantPicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our betting partners. Make a deposit and I will send you $50 as a thank you, that's wheelandpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, I'll send you 50 bucks. Next up, at UFC Vegas 60, we have Loma Lukabunmi taking on Denise Gomes. You want to Lukabun- wa- do what to me? Six and three overall, three and two in her last five, coming off the loss to Lupita Godinez. Denise Gomes is six and one overall, five and oh in her last five, and she is stepping up on short notice after a contender series win just a few weeks ago. Loma Lukabunmi is a Muay Thai striker with very good volume and deceiving power. And I say deceiving power because she's tiny. She's undersized for this division, and this is 115 pounds. I disagree. She does... She has shown that she can be more than just a striker, though. She out-wrestled Sam... Yeah. She out-wrestled Sam Hughes in that win. She had four takedowns and even took Lupita Godinez down, who's like a beast grappler at this weight class outside of her last fight. And while her takedowns have improved, if she gets taken down, she's not really great on the ground, but her submission defense is solid. She got a 68% takedown defense, but she does get taken down in pretty much all of her fights. Denise Gomes is a tough striker who can grapple as well. She can be hittable, but is incredibly tough and never out of a fight. She's going to continue to come forward, bite down, and just bomb away. It takes her a few minutes to get going, but once she's dialed in, she picks up that pace and has no problem taking one to give one. She works in kicks as well and can be dangerous on the ground. You will see stoppages on her record, but it's not just like raw power, one-punch power. It's just literally grit and pressure, and she breaks people. And I'm going to go with Loma Look Boon Me here. She's proven to us that she can be a dangerous technical striker as well as an effective grappler. The only losses we've seen for her are when she was pushed around and she was out grappled. And I don't see that happening here. So I see Loma winning the striking exchanges and then she can work in takedowns if she wants to. This is another one where I thought that line was pretty wide. Um, but it's starting to tighten a bit. She's now a minus 235 favorite. Did they drop the takedown prop bet here? Because that's what I was waiting for. I think that's a solid bet for Loma. Minus 325. And that's not going to happen. What do you think of this fight? Uh, I love Loma, Loma, whatever you want to pronounce her name. Not only in this matchup, but as a fighter overall. Because she has worlds and worlds of Muay Thai experience, and you could tell when she's in the when the in the octagon because her striking is so precise, and what she is adding to her games as well because she's already got that. She doesn't need to work on that anymore. So now she's starting to add in the wrestling, the trips, the judo because when you add when you mix in the Muay Thai, which that close and and the grip, you know the the the, the Muay Thai ties up and everything, and you start mixing in the, the the trips and the judo and the wrestling with it, which you you saw even in that Loopy fight, in the first take down that Loopy tried to get, she tossed Loopy to the ground and ended up on top. And Loopy is one of the best wrestlers in the division. It was like holy shit. Even though Loopy had her little thing, I mean we all know about. But you know, I, I think this is a very 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 tall task for Denise, and I couldn't actually believe that the odds even tightened. I thought they would get even wider. I think she was at minus 270. I threw her in a parlay at minus 270. I might put a money line bet on her if they keep dropping the way they're dropping because I think they're minus like 230-something now because Luma should be better everywhere in this match unless it's like a, just a straight jujitsu match. But her striking is going to be intense. As you mentioned, the way to beat Luma is with pace, 
pressure and really, really get in her face. But at the same time, now you're in her range. Now you're in that Muay Thai range. And that's when all the strikes, the elbows, the knees, everything comes into, in, into effect. So if you're Denise, you know, you, you got to try and pressure and land shots. But even landing clean shots on her is tough too. So I, I, unfortunately for Denise, I know she's tough and she's coming in short notice. I think this is a very, very tall task to beat Luma in this matchup. I think Luma, the more that she adds to the game, only 26 years old, is going to be a problem for this division. I don't think she's undersized at all. Um, I think she looks good and is really going to be a problem for this division. She's, I think she's a top five girl. I think she's a top five girl. I think she wins this matchup. Yeah, I mean, we, we seem to agree there. I, I didn't have the confidence to bet on her at that price point, but you know maybe I'd do my own little parlay here with Loma and uh, my own little lady parlay. You did many more than I will. And if you want to uh, check out three. Jacob's... Yeah, I did wanna... three. And if you want to see it, Become a member, premium member. We want picks.com. Become a premium member. Only $10 a month. We're talking $10 a month. $2.50 a week. There's four weeks. Divided by four. 10 for $2.50 a week. You'll become a millionaire. Asterisk. Maybe not, but I hope you do. We got everything in there. Become a member. We own picks.com. Click the button at the top. When you do that, you, you're like Crazy Eddie selling TVs and mattresses and whatever the hell else. You. Yeah, you're welcome. Crazy Eddie sells a lot of mattresses. You like Loma as much as you do, you're going to spend that 9500 bucks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm very confident in her, but $9,500 is a lot to spend. So you think she gets a stoppage, obviously. She is way better than Denise. That's no disrespect to Denise. I mean, it just, she has worlds of Muay Thai experience and she's mixed in some wrestling on her own as well. So sure. Yeah. Uh, and the monkey knife, I strike line. I'm assuming you think less, less than. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to explore that monkey knife, I strike you line, explain what's funny. Monkey knife fight is daily fantasy. All you need to do mm -hmm. is go to, we picks.com slash M K F. You sign up. They will instantly match your deposit. If you give them 50, they'll give you 50. You give them a hundred. They'll give you 100, and then you take a look at the strike line, and you say more or less, and if you're right, they'll triple your money. We on picks.com. Speaking of MKF. monkey knife fight, I sent a message to Chris on Discord. Didn't message me back. He's traveling. But we That's got, why no, we got the problem resolved. So, if you, Chris, if you're watching, we got it resolved. Oh, but good. I would appreciate a uh, a message back, you know. Okay, I just want to say hi sometimes. 